all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna have a little fun we're gonna do a little bit of fun video I'm gonna talk about my top baits that I like to use during the uh, pre-spawn um, the pre-spawn is an awesome time to really get on some uh, good fish um, you're starting to get your fish that are coming off their winter haunts that are super lethargic that are coming up getting ready to spawn and lay their eggs and produce millions of little babies for us to watch grow up and hopefully become our next PB down the road um, but these fish when they're coming off their winter haunts and sleeping and being lethargic and being on the bottoms of the lakes and streams and ponds that we fish the first thing they're looking for is a quick easy meal at first and then as the water warms up a little bit they're gonna start you know pursuing um, more of your bait fish type things such as your your perch your crappie your bluegills your shads and crawfish and stuff like that so anyway so with the um, the uh, pre-spawn uh, a couple baits I like to use um, majority of these are gonna be all uh, uh, strike king baits I do like strike king but you can also use other bait companies too as well um, first thing I like to do is uh, when those fish when we first get our ice melt off of our lakes and right now we're in the midst of like some of our lakes are like 12 inches covered in ice the water temperatures are still in the 30s uh, still snow on the ground so this is a good time for me to do a lot of tackle organization getting stuff ready order stuff that I need off of different websites and things like that so the first bait we're going to start off with is going to be a jig um, this is a quarter ounce jig 3 8 ounce jig will work too as well um, I used a black and blue right there and that's paired up with a muscle back crawl from uh, X zone lures now the reason why I like to use a jig especially in the beginning of the pre-spawn those fish are still out a little bit deep they're hugged to the bottom they're lethargic they're slow they're looking for a quick easy meal to swim by so I'll take a jig like this and I will bomb it way out there as far as I can and I will drag this thing super duper slow now normally I won't use such a big trailer but I'm just using this more as an example I won't use something with a lot of uh, movement because as well as these bass being lethargic the bait fish and the crawfish too are slow now I'm gonna drag this super slow pause drag a little bit slow drag it through brush piles drag it through rock pilings um, maybe around some docks trees stuff like that and it's gonna give them a quick easy meal for them to pursue and eat now choice of colors I will use a red if I can find one uh, with and pair that up with a red plastic or I like to use a black and blue especially early in the pre-spawn I like to use black and blue because a lot of the lakes where I fish the waters are dirty and they're dirty because um, the ice melt is going on you have a lot of rivers that are high streams that are high because all that snow and ice is melting causing those rivers and streams to get high pushing all the soot mud dirt into the water and then you also are getting you know you're getting their growth coming back to you get all your underwater plants are coming up stirring up all that stuff so a nice black and blue jig is going to be able to be seen and then that's where I'll start using a little bit more action to cause a little bit more commotion in the water to trigger that bite so next bait I like to use um, now I don't have the right color but I'm going to use it as an example is the red eye shad uh, I believe this is a half ounce uh, that is a shad pattern but what I like to do is I like to use this in a crawfish pattern so I brought this over here and we'll talk about this bait too I believe this is um, delta red in the strike king color but I like to use the uh, the red eye shad in that color um, so it's got nice rattles to it um, same thing I'm going to do with this. I'm going to bomb it out there. I'm going to work it pretty fast, ripping it through the grass. Um, this is going to cause a reaction bite. This is when those fish are starting to um, get a little bit warmed up. The sun is starting to come on and starting to beat down on them. It's warm up the rocks, the riprap, the trees that are laying in the water. And those are one of the areas that you want to uh, target too with baits like this. Is If you have rocks that are in the water, the rocks are going to absorb the heat heat up the water in that area quicker than any other location so I like to take this this is a good uh, search bait you know you're gonna find uh, shad that are 
dying possibly because the water is still cold, they're also going to uh, school up together to create heat and vibration. And that's where I like to use the red eye shad. But um, like I said, and any any co any lipless style crankbait will work. Um, I just recommend that you go with that that crawfish color. I know Cotton Cordell's got baits. You got Rapala's got baits. Rattle Trap. Um, there's many many companies out there that make a trap style bait in the crawl pattern. Just I prefer the red eye shad. It's caught tons and tons of fish over the years for people. It's won lots of money for guys that fish out there in tournament scene. It's a great, excellent bait. And I like to use the half ounce. I like to use a little bit bigger. And another thing that's cool too what to do with this bait is I'll rip it real fast with my rod tip up. And then I'll stop it. And when this bait dies, it'll it'll fall over into the grass. And then I'll rip it up more, again, just like a yo-yo. You know, I'm going to rip that bait up and down through there. So another excellent choice to be using during a pre-spawn is a trap style lipless crankbait. So, um, next bait I like to use too is, um, so when the spring is coming, you're going to start getting a lot of um, um, pressure to possible lakes and bodies of water. You know, you're going to get a lot of your anglers that have been chomping at the bit to get back out there. Um, sometimes fish don't want to hear a giant amount of rattles coming through the water. Um, so that's where I'm going to use the flat side, uh, flat side crankbait. Uh, I know a bunch of different companies like to use these or do make these. Um, I believe this is the most underrated one that they make. This is the KVD 1.5 flat, and that's in that uh, delta red color. If you hear it, it's got absolutely no sound, nothing, uh, possibly just a little bit of sound from the hooks. This is an awesome bait, tight wobble, killer bait to be using at this time of year. Um, it's not going to put off too much um, sound, but more vibration. And the uh, fish will pick this up. And this is usually a bait I'm going to use um, when that water temperature is still really cold. Um, it's, it's just one of my favorite baits. I know um, Rapala just put out the Not Defoe versions, the uh, garage versions. Um, I know 13 Fishing's got one. Guggen's got one. You know, there's a lot of lot of flat side crankbaits out there. I just like this one. And another thing too, I don't remember the exact feet. I want to say this thing dies about eight feet. What I'll do with this is throw it up into the shallow water and I'm going to let that bill dig into the mud. And that's going to cause a lot of commotion, a lot of disturbance in the water. And uh, it's going to act like a crawfish swimming through the water. Um, I, the reason they eat red is, is to me still a mystery. I know uh, it's just a dynamite bait and it's kind of have a small window like once the spawn starts or a couple weeks before the spawn red usually you know dies off as a color so it's, it's a great opportunity to get on some good fish some big fish and some aggressive fish if you get a chance to throw these and uh the things that i hear too why they eat red is a lot of times it's like what they'll say is the crawfish as they're hibernating too in the winter is they're going to be buried down in that mud and that soot and their shells are going to absorb that clay uh, color, all kinds of stuff. When they molt, they turn into like a red color. And when they molt too, the shell is super soft. So it's an easier uh, morsel uh, for a bass to take down. But yeah, guys, if you're not throwing a KVD 1.5 flat side, you're missing out. It's a cheap bait. It's like six bucks. It's a killer bait. It's got killer good hooks on it. It's a great, it's a great, great bait for the pre-spawn. All right, uh, two more baits I'm gonna talk about. Uh, another one I like to throw is, uh, I don't remember the name of this one, but it's very much like the uh, uh, Shad Wrap from Rapala, but this is the Strike King version. And I like to use this in a bait fish imitation. Uh, this one's got a lot, a little bit of sound to it. It's a very lightweight bait, so it's kind of hard to throw on a bait caster. So I'll be throwing this one on a, uh, like a medium to heavy uh, spinning rod. What, uh, Really light braid, probably like 15 pound test braid with a fluorocarbon leader. And uh, this is gonna be good for your lakes that are high with um, bait fish. Now a lot of lakes I fish, there's not a lot of bait fish in it. The primary food source in my ponds and lakes is gonna be bluegill, crappie, and perch, white bass, and then crawfish. I mean, I do have a few lakes that have um, 
shad in it and stuff but these is an excellent bait it runs extremely well in the water got nice sharp hooks deep it's probably going to run about six to eight feet if i'm not mistaken and those bass that are fishing in those ponds and lakes that are targeting bait fish um are going to really key on on this uh, this is an excellent bait i know rapala has made one for years been catching fish for hundreds of years or whatever but uh excellent bait or excellent bait or lure to use if your uh, bass are starting to feed on uh shiners gizzards shad stuff like that so that's an excellent bait right there and finally last but not least probably one of my favorite baits to throw this time of year and it can be thrown all all year round too i mean if my lakes weren't froze over i'd be throwing it right now and that is the um the jerk bait um this one here in particular is the kbd i believe it's a 200 series because it has two hook sets of hooks they make a 300 series with three hooks and they make a 100 series now which is a little bit smaller than this um excellent bait it's got that weight transferring system so when you bring the bait back that weight's going to go to the back of the, the little lure and as you toss it it's going to go to the front being able to let you do um further longer casts uh, this one is in the, I believe it's called the Phantom Perch. Because uh, like I said, a lot of the ponds and lakes, there's a lot of what we call darter perch. They're small perch that get this size and the bass just choke them up. Um, I know a lot of the small mouth places I fish, this is an excellent color. And you can also use this in it. There's plenty of you know, sexy shad patterns, uh, chartreuse shad patterns, stuff like this. Um, and again, many companies make jerk baits and don't have to predictably use strike king as themselves but um yeah this is an awesome bait i'm gonna throw this on a bait caster um now as the water is colder i'm my cadence to uh reel this in is going to change it's going to be slower jerks um more pauses between the jerks and um the other thing too this is suspending now, suspending is a is a really big thing you want to have in jerk baits i don't like jerk baits that float to the top um sinking ones are fine as long as it's a slow sink and then they make ones that are deep dive. i believe this one only goes three to five feet i do have some that have a longer bill that go a little bit deeper but uh yeah the colder water the slower the cadence is as far as jerking this uh uh jerk bait through the water and then as the water warms up i'm gonna make uh harder jerks harder twitches in the water if i see fish uh bass blowing up on schools of fish I'm going to jerk bait this through there and stuff as well. So awesome bait. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the pre-spawn. Uh, those are baits that I like to use. I don't use too many soft plastics. I will at times run a small uh, uh, what's swim bait with a little bit of jig head. And, you know, it's just slow roll that. Those baits get a little bit tough, especially in a lot of the waters I have because we have a lot of pickerel. So pickerel are usually the first fish to start being super aggressive in the winter time because if i'm not mistaken they um spawn first before the bass do but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i want to do more of these down the road um i'm just hoping to get out in the water soon i got a whole new uh, set of rods and reels coming in so we're going to talk about that because the last company that i was uh were messing around with tried i just uh didn't like some of the stuff that was going on but that's for another video but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to go ahead and shut this off get it uh uploaded because it takes nine thousand hours to upload on my computer but anyway guys thanks for the love and the support and uh, we're almost at uh 2, followers on instagram and i'd like to try to get a thousand uh subs on this channel too as well i'm trying to this winter i got to writing down a lot of stuff for ideas for the channel i think it's gonna be cool we do a lot of collabs with other local jersey guys i know last year I, I hooked up with jersey joel fishing and there's a couple other guys i plan on hooking up with too as well so anyway guys thanks for watching thanks for the love thanks for the support make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up and hit that notification button so and uh, make sure you hit it on all so you get a, a notification when i put out a video but anyway guys thanks for watching